Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Vue.js tutorial for beginners in Hindi and this is our part 15. In this video session guys, we are going to discuss about the concept of multiple instances in Vue.js application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of Vue.js tutorial to get a clear vision about part number 15. So basically guys, in this video session we are discussing about how multiple instances can we create in our Vue.js application. Mein. So right now we have created only one instance as you can see. So to create the multiple instances, first go to HTML file and let's define just copy this div and just paste it here okay so let's say that my app 1 and my app 2 so basically we two div defined kiya hua hai jahan par do selector ki different different id hai okay so just we have defined this instance for let's say that my app 1 okay basically this el property means this my app denotes this area okay so let just copy this instance paste it here again and let's say my app 2 Okay, so now just change the ID. Let's say my app two, and let's make my app to my app one. So basically, guys, we have two instances created in our Vue.js application. Mein. And remember, the EL properties should be different. Okay, that's for example, my app one denotes this area. Okay, and the second instance that is my app two, which has the EL property called my app two, basically denotes this div ID. Just go to JS file. And let's define some of the property inside this data object. Let's say title. And title should be say let's say online web tutor. Okay, something else. And now if we want to print this title to this div, okay. So just copy this property name, go inside this div, and let's say that title within this paragraph tag, let's say title. Within curly pairs, let's say title. Okay, again go to 15.js file. Let's define another property inside that div. Okay, let's say that second title. Okay, or let's say author. And this author contains the name of the author called Sanjay. Okay, basically, if you want to print this author, so we need to give access over to this div. That is my app too, because this instance means जो हमने instance create किया हुआ, basically it related to this div ID. Okay, so just go to this div ID and let's say that within this paragraph tag, let's say author and author name. If you want to print something, the key value called author. Okay, so if we save this file again, go to browser, refresh that page. This is called title, online web tutor, and author is Sanjay. Back to our editor, and now if we change the name, something called title one and the title author one okay so let's get rid of that if we want to access this author name inside this div id because this is the first instance and this is the second instance okay so we want that this value actually will be used inside this area okay hum is property ko use karna chahte hain apne is view area pe so how can we retrieve the author name inside this okay agar directly hum likhna chahe let's say that within this p tag let's say author name okay so just get the author okay save this file go to browser refresh that page and remember we have a error property or method author is not defined okay so how can we use this and how can we remove that error and actually we have to use this property name right here so how can we retrieve that so if we want to retrieve this author name inside this area we need to call let's say author and now if you want to retrieve this author name just by the help of this my app to copy this my app to let's define called author save this file go to browser refresh that page and as you can see okay cannot read property author of undefined and this error because guys because we have my app 2 dot author jo create kiya hua, basically my app 2 the object the variable created underneath of this okay so agar mai isse remove kar dun ya hum isse agar cut kar le cut karne ke baad agar mai isse upar ki taraf paste kar dun so just paste above this variable name ab kya hua ki my app 2 hamare paas defined hai ओके okay. पहले क्या हो रहा था गाइस कि ये जो वेरिएबल जो हमने डिफाइन किया हुआ था इसके थ्रू हमने इस प्रॉपर्टी को कॉल किया बेसिकली इट इज डिफाइंड अंडरनीथ ऑफ दिस माय ऐप 1 ओके सो जैसे ही हमने इसे ऊपर डिफाइन किया जस्ट रिफ्रेश दैट पेज एंड द एरर हैज गॉन 
ओके तो ये थी गाइस कि अगर हमें किसी भी इंस्टेंस के थ्रू किसी भी पर्टी को रीड करना हो बेसिकली बाय द हेल्प ऑफ माय ऐप टू व्हिच इज द वेरिएबल इनिशियलाइज्ड बाय द फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस ऑफ दिस डीवाईडी ओके इस रेफरेंस के थ्रू हम इसके प्रॉपर्टीज और इसके मेथड्स को कॉल कर सकते हैं ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज हाउ कैन वी डिफाइन द मेथड्स ओके सो मेथड बेसिकली हम वैसे डिफाइन करेंगे जैसे कि ये हमारा सेकंड ऐप है लेट्स से सेकंड ऐप and let's say that return this is second instance okay so agar main save kar du again agar main isi naam ka method agar main define karu apne is my app ke andar we can do that okay so agar main save karke agar main just copy karu is method name ko paste karu and let's say first instance ओके okay, अगर मैं जाऊँ अपने एस टी एल फाइल पे जस्ट कॉल दैट मैथड दैट बिकॉज दिस इज द आई डी रिलेटेड विद माय ऐप वन दैट इज माय ऐप वन ओके सो वी नीड टू कॉल दिस मैथड राइट इनसाइड दिस एच टी एम एल डीव ओके सो लेट्स से विद इन पैराग्राफ टैग अगेन करली पेयर्स एंड लेट्स से बिकॉज इट्स अ फंक्शन मीन्स मैथड वी नीड टू गिव द पैरथिस सिम्बॉल ओके एंड अगेन इफ वॉन्ट टू रिट्राइव द सेकेंड ऐप मैथड फ्रॉम दिस माई ऐप टू जस्ट कॉपी दिस नेम Go inside this div and let's see within paragraph tag curly pairs and it's a function parenthesis symbol should be necessary. So just save this file, refresh this page. Now as you can see, this is first instance and this is the second instance. So just back to our editor. So guys, so far we have seen that how can we define the data properties, methods properties of corresponding view instances. Also we have seen that कि हमें अगर कोई value अगर property अगर share करनी हो हमारे अपने किसी भी instance के through हम कैसे कर सकते हैं by the help of that created variable. Okay? अगर हम इस method को अगर हम retrieve करना चाहते हैं अपने second एप्लीकेशन में या हम इस एप्लीकेशन के मीन्स इस इंस्टेंस के अगर इस मेथड को रिट्राइव करना चाहते हैं अपने माई ऐप के अंदर तो हम उसे रिट्राइव कर सकते हैं सो लेट से दैट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिट्राइव दिस सेकेंड ऐप मैथड इन साइड दिस व्यू इंस्टेंस ओके सो लेट्स डिफाइन अनदर लेट्स ए थर्ड ऐप फंक्शन ओके बेसिकली इट्स अ फंक्शन सो जस्ट डिफाइन दैट और अगर हम इस मेथड को कॉल करना चाहें मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल द सेकेंड ऐप फ्रॉम द सेकेंड व्यू इंस्टेंस टू आवर फर्स्ट व्यू इंस्टेंस ओके सो बाय द हेल्प ऑफ माई ऐप टू वाई माई ऐप टू बिकॉज माई ऐप टू कंटेन्स दिस व्यू इंस्टेंस ओके सो बाय द हेल्प ऑफ माई ऐप टू डॉट सेकेंड ऐप विल गिव यू दिस मैसेज मीन्स दिस मैथड एक्सेस ओके सो जस्ट कॉपी माई ऐप टू गो इन साइड दिस फंक्शन and let's say that return my app to and the method name called second app okay basically it's a method so we need to give the parenthesis symbol so just copy this third app function name just copy this name go to your this el property means my app one and my app one this is so within this let's define a paragraph tag and just call method from App two, okay. So basically, let's define that method, and this is the method called third app function. Third app function basically, this method is defined within this my app one, but this method actually give give you the access over the second app method, which is defined over this instance. Okay, so just save this file, go to browser, refresh that page, and as you can see, method from app. टू दिस इज सेकेंड इंस्टेंस ओके सक्सेसफुली गाइज हमने अपने सेकेंड इंस्टेंस के मैथड को रिट्राइव कर लिया हुआ है अपने फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस पे ओके सो दीज आर द वेज गाइज दैट हाउ कैन बी डिफाइन मल्टीपल इंस्टेंसेज इन ऑल व्यू जेस एप्लीकेशन साथ ही साथ अगर कोई कंप्यूटर प्रॉपर्टीज डिफाइन करनी हो लेट्स ए कंप्यूटेड ओके एंड लेट्स ए दैट फुल नेम इज द मैथड दैट वी हैव डिफाइंड लेट्स ए फंक्शन रिटर्न लेट्स ए दिस डॉट ऑथर basically full name is the computer property which gives you the name of this author okay so if we want to use this computer properties means full name inside this first view app how can we use that just copy the full name that is computer properties go to our first instance and let's say that making another method that is access computed 
of app2 okay this is the method that we are going to define let's say function and now let's return my app2 basically by the help of this view instance we can actually retrieve the computer property called full name okay so just save this file if we save this file and again just copy this function name go to your app1 and let's define that another p tag let's say computed from app2 just colon symbol curly pairs and because it's a computer properties now it's a method of this el property so we need to define as a curly parenthesis curly parenthesis inside this okay but agar hame computer properties agar access karna ho apne so we need to remove that parenthesis from here okay so again i'm save karing a file ko just refresh that page and as you can see computed from app2 that is sanjay basically it has given the author name okay so successfully guys we have seen about the multiple view instances in our vue.js application okay aap yahan do ke bajaye multiple instances bhi create kar sakte ho aur data share kar sakte ho apne kisi bhi instance ke sath apne methods ko share kar sakte ho data as well as computer properties ko okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day